Margaret Benyon was born in 1940 and was called as the mother of British holography for her contributions to the field, most notably in advancing its artistic effects. In this video essay, I'll go over her education and her motivations for getting into holography, her contributions to the field and the innovative aspects of her work. And then I'll conclude by discussing some of her works how they inspired my efforts and how the topics that were explored by Margaret still relevant to today's artists. Margaret enrolled in the University of Nottingham from 1968 to 1971 and this is when she began experimenting with holography as an artistic medium. Her motivation for practicing holography can be best described by her own words in 1973. To question the abstract expressionist assumptions that the criterion of excellence in painting was that it should be treated as a flat surface. Her work would prove innovative in expanding the scope for the artistic exploration through holography. University of Nottingham showcased her work in 1969 in what was then dubbed as the world's first solo art holography show. Margaret also collaborated with John Webster on using pulse holograms, an up-and-coming technique back then. Pictured as a hologram produced in 1983 as a part of this collaboration. She also combined holography with traditional 2D painting techniques like the use of gouache underpainting in painting Margot. Margaret's works are an inspiration to today's artists, including myself. Margaret has pioneered a unique way of combining distinct features in her work. Every frame, every transition of a hologram combines together to tell a story. Whether it is the fierce gaze of the tiger lining up with her own eyes in 1985's Tiger, or the contrasting mix of holography and traditional 2D art elements in painting Margot. This contrast is most clearly visible in 1996's Pushing Up the Daisies, which is a personal favorite of mine. In this work, the holographic medium lends itself lends an eerie feel to the soldier's camouflage. It is almost like the painting is being viewed through night vision goggles. This entire thing contrasts with the innocent expression and the growth of the innocent expression of the soldier and the growth of the daisies atop the soldier's helmet. This storytelling through contrasting elements in holograms is something that inspires artists today and something that I wish to explore further in the projects in this course.